Change of plans. We're going to the Everglades. Crikey! We're about to venture into the heart of the wetlands in search of the rare American gator. We're going to put a thumb right off his bum. <laughs> My name's Jordan. And I'm Nate. Join us on an adventure as we dive, sail, and explore this big blue planet Earth. After one of the sharkiest days of our lives, our diving and driving extravaganza continued just 30 minutes south at a dive site called the Blue Heron Bridge. Good morning. Why did you do that? <laughs> they pulled the plug on the air mattress. I'm not ready yet. It's time to go. Yeah, you're right. It's time. How'd you sleep? The best. Okay. In my 12 bars And baby I need you Come set me free So we can be fine. Good morning! We are getting ready to dive A dive site called the Blue Heron Bridge And as you can see It's the place to be right now There's like rows of people getting ready in cars in every direction and it's a really well-known dive here it's famous for its macro life so it's super shallow and basically we just swim out a bit and then hook a left and we're gonna head east along the bridge and you can see like anything and everything there's seahorses nudibranchs um, lots of crustaceans cephalopods octopus the whole lot and the thing about this dive is that um because we're in a channel here, you can only dive it at certain times depending on the tide. Um, so that's why everyone's here all at the same time, getting geared up and you'll kind of watch everybody. It's like a mass exodus into the water um, during slack tide. So um, that being said, I gotta put the camera down and get ready because we are gonna be the last ones in the water if I don't. <laughs> I went and found like this little really shitty, like, I don't know, packing rope in the garbage over there. And uh, we're gonna tie some together onto her service marker instead of having a reel like a normal prepared diver would <laughs> instead we've got this it works though right so as we're diving this thing's going to be bobbing around okay it says diver below it's going to be bobbing along with us so we're just going to be 15 feet underwater with this so the boats can see us very important uh, piece of equipment don't ever do a dive like this without something like this because you got boats coming right overhead and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like Pennywise down there from it, just there with my little red balloon, just creeping up on critters. Okay, should we do it? Yep. Do it. We're doing it.
We could feel the current starting to pick up, which meant that it was time to make our way back towards the beach. We decided to go out into slightly deeper water for the swim back so that we could cover some new territory, and we retreated to a few final pockets of life. cool dive <clears throat> uh seahorse didn't expect to see that guy that was cool yeah what was your favorite thing you saw jordan oh man i don't know probably that one first really big crab that you saw like that you were ahead of me and you saw it that yeah. was like oh yeah i don't know he was pretty cool i don't know huh? the name of it but he was sassy and he was like chuk, chuk. the one that i said was like the one from milan not um, milan uh, moana Moana. Da, 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 crab. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like a jewel um, crab. I'm shiny. I'm shiny. <laughs> Make it look shiny. Nailed it. I'm shiny too. Disney, call us. We'll sing your next yeah. jingle <laughs> if you need us. Anyway, um, Blue Heron Dive. No, blue, blue heron bridge? bridge blue yeah. heron bridge dive? Check. Ah! I can't handle this. <laughs> if there's anybody out there watching this video that feels like you're really good at being organized and you want to be our personal assistant on these videos and help us <laughs> to keep our lives together, then please let us know in the comments because look at the state of this van right now. It's so bad. Cameras, dive gear, like it's just an explosion. But yeah, because we have to, um, we rented gear at the last, um, in Jupiter where we did the shark dive. And because we're cheap, we got up super early and- <laughs> What the hell is this? It's to keep my hair from dripping on my <laughs> shirt. Like my shirt was getting all wet before. Oh the reason, so this right here, it's a bed sheet because <laughs> We didn't have any towels. We didn't bring a towel, but we had an extra sheet that didn't fit our mattress. So that's why it's so huge. I wrapped um, a fitted sheet around why my Why would one hair. bring a towel to a scuba trip? Why would Stupid. you do that? Stupid. Dumb. Don't do that. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Change of plans. Change of plans. Uh, we're going to the Everglades. We're going to the Everglades. Going to the Everglades. We're going to go see some gators. Um, 
I don't know, we were just looking on the map on the way down to Key Largo, and we're like, all right, what are we doing? What are we up to? And we realized we're right by the Everglades National Park, which neither of us have been to. You been there? Nope. Have not been there either. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna like go like full on airboat and like the whole thing, but um, we are gonna dip into the Everglades and try our damn to see, see a gator, preferably baby gator. Put it in our pocket. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming back with manatees and gators. Never mind, do that. So, that is our current mission. And, um, yeah. Yeah. To be honest with you, we actually, before this trip, we researched to see if anybody was doing like scuba trips with gators. Apparently, that's not a thing. <laughs> I'm sure there's good reason why that's not a thing, but that's not a thing. Um, so,. Business proposal: If any of you crazy assholes wants to make a a, a gator scuba diving expedition, um, there's people searching for it on the internet, like myself. Anyway, there's that, and um, hopefully we make it to Key Largo by sunset because we got scuba duba to do there too. I'm gonna yell at you, Florida people. This is something that that has been pissing us off for a couple days. You guys are honkers, honkers. We see people honking at each other every hour on the road here, and it's obnoxious. Like angry ass drivers. Here. Yeah, very, and it's like not even for like, yeah, if you're like no, almost in an accident, exactly. that's one thing. It's like, like, we're sitting in traffic, stop, and you're yeah. just gonna honk at people because yeah. you're about to honk. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, honk. traffic make me mad, honk. The light turned green, two seconds ago, honk. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> in the Everglades, looking for gators and crocs. And actually there's a lot of other really cool animals. We seen some cranes already. We saw a big, crazy big ass grasshopper. grasshopper. Yeah. And it's really like, it's a really beautiful landscape. It's super wide open, wet, but kind of tropical, like palm trees. And I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, you can see it. It's the wetlands. It's the wetlands. It's the it's swamp. What do you mean how to describe swamp. it? There's words just to describe <laughs> this landscape, in fact. But let's continue our, our gator hunting mission. Gators! At the gator farm. Over that fence there. We did it. We tried. We walked out all around the Everglades. Yeah, we are crazy. Woo! Look at that gator. Oh my god. Hi, his name's Pickles. <laughs> Pickles. Look at his eyeballs. Pass that gator. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> We're going on the air ball. Boat's broken. But good pipe to good pipe. You don't have a good pipe there. There's nothing for That's what she said. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Well, you you said it, not me. <laughs> All right, we're about to venture into the heart of the wetlands in search of the rare American gator. And we're gonna put a thumb right up his bum. <laughs> Deep in the bum. <laughs> Nate will. I'm going to. I don't treat animals that way. <laughs> We're moving here. We're gonna be swamp people now. Yeah. I'm stoked. Yes. <clears throat> I 
germs are gonna get eaten by these crocodiles. Try to get the shot for you. <laughs> Jordan's gonna lose an arm. Did you poop it? Huh? Did you poop yeah, it? Yeah, I pooped it right in the tail. Right in the tip of its tail. This is the best roller coaster ride ever. That was so fun. Can we drive it? Are we allowed to drive it or no? No. Okay. Uh -huh. We thought we'd ask. You never know. Yeah. So you can flip it over. Can yeah. you drive it? <laughs> the Everglades is about 5 million acres. Yeah. It starts yeah. up near, yeah, 5 million acres. It starts up near Orlando, runs down the middle of the state of Florida, all the way down here. We're at the very end of the Everglades right now. Oh. The very tip of the Florida Peninsula. Yeah, and the average depth of water out here is only about six inches. How does it work? I mean, well, you you push air over the rudders with the fan, uh -huh. and then turn it. You just turn the rudders. Oh, okay. so it's a uh, real basic, simple, yeah, simple thing. Uh, so it's just a giant fan with the rudder, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, when it was invented, it was the fastest thing man had ever made. Oh, wow. really? You know, on the water, naturally, there's nothing in the air yet, wow. cars or anything. Yeah, these things would do like. 80 miles an hour or so wow. back then. I love this. This is my, one of my favorite things we've done in Florida for sure. Here we go. That was the best! That was so fun. And now we gotta find a place to charge our cameras and sleep. like a really cool bar. This is what I picture as like backcountry Florida classic bar. Um, but we have our camera gear to charge because we're going to be scuba diving tomorrow. So when we need to charge a bunch of stuff at once, we put everything into one bag with a power strip and then we just plug just the power strip in so that they can't see that we have like 20 different things that we're charging at the same time. So that's a little insider's tip for if you're traveling and you need to charge a lot at once. That's what we like to do. <laughs> There's a bar strip. Just a bag chilling there. And on the inside. Happy that we were able to do what we needed to do in there, but it was pretty distracting. Like <laughs> I was working on this email proposal for uh, some projects that we're working on, and in the meantime, like they're in the background watching this football game, and they're like, "Get him, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. It was over the top. Was like funny. nothing I've ever. We recorded it, whether or not we include world. any of that. Well, Probably we, not because that's we just will. Weird. <laughs> No, we're going to. <laughs> and cut to the screaming. We kept like missing it. Like we were in the middle of doing something and it would happen. And by the time you get your phone ready, so the clip that we're showing you, imagine that but more. Sports. It's not even the full extent of the uh, yeah. in, sports enthusiasm. But yeah, got some work done. It's cool. Yeah. Sent the emails, did the things, edited, you know. So, mm -hmm. drank shit. some PBR. I haven't had a PBR in a long time. I'll say this: I think like dollar fifty beers or something. Like so a that's cool. All right, and then that we're out of here. Out, out, out of, out of the swamp. Yeah. Tune in next time as we continue our mission south to the dive capital of the world and have a deeply religious experience. Hello?
and then explore Florida's southernmost keys. Don't you know when you're 